my mom's dad uh, back during the depression when when uh, they didn't have the quarter to go buy a fish lure he made his own and uh, he made uh, as a kid I remember going to Gramps' house and and over a lip going down into the basement he had a shelf there and had this whole row of fish decoys and when I was a little shaver I was so impressed to, to think that Gramps could make these things not knowing what the, they were a functionable tool. I had some uh, classes at Michigan State and stuff and, and I got into uh, environmental work and I spent over 30 years traveling all over the country doing environmental cleanup with this big company and, and uh, but even on the road I always had a little bag in those days I could fly and I spent a lot of time flying from job to job and I'd carry a little box or a Ziploc bag in my suitcase and and I wouldn't get thrown in jail for having a couple carving knives and a few pieces of wood in there. I mean I, I just evenings I'd sit at a picnic table or in a motel room when we was on the road and and I did it just as, as, a, as a relaxing uh, uh, way of spending time. There's this file or rasp and, and uh, you can uh, work on an angle with that. And uh, this will take a lot of wood off too in a hurry. And uh, you can use this for roughing in and uh, especially good uh, getting the round, getting the round and work them like that. A New York show, the National Wildlife Federation show one year, and, and I didn't know what a black tie show was. And uh, and I went in there with my Levi's and my baseball cap on, and I sold out in an hour. And uh, I caught all kinds of havoc from it, from the so-called artisans. Fortunately, uh, I'm blessed with an artsy family background, and uh, it seems like it didn't mean anything to me, but. Uh, uh, it's just that our family, everyone has had the ability to draw a little bit and, uh, and I express myself uh, uh, making these fish and uh, being an old farm boy, artsy stuff didn't mean a whole lot to me when I was growing up but uh, it's just my way of, uh, I've always been able to draw a little bit and, uh, and uh, brothers and sisters commercial artists and, and mom and grandma were artists to a certain extent. And, it's just, it's just a genetic thing in our family. And uh, it's just that uh, some people tell me they think my stuff is cool. And it's just uh, basically, uh, it was just an accident. I'm 75 years old and uh, I have no intentions of quitting because I'm just having too much fun.